Anita Sarkeesian began her Tropes vs. Women in Video Games series a little over a year ago, and she just dropped her sixth installment. Just a warning, this content is extremely graphic. The episode focuses on women as background decoration in popular games ranging from Assassin's Creed to GTA V. Again, we can compare the way the murdered male bodies are displayed and notice the distinct lack of sexualization in their presentation. The male corpses may be designed to evoke a sense of horror or disgust, but it's not coupled with elements of sexual titillation in the same way that female bodies are. Anita has consistently received massive backlash from some members of the gaming community, but just two days after posting this episode, she received extremely explicit death threats on herself and her family. We must remember that games don't just entertain. Intentional or not, they always express a set of values and present us with concepts of normalcy. The last time we featured Anita on our show, we got over 200 comments attacking us, but that absolutely pales in comparison to what she's experiencing. Of course it's okay to have a difference of opinion, but making somebody fear for their life is never acceptable. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. So, if you heard from the intro, you know, about how Anita Sarkeesian had to move from her own house among her family members to a safer place, it's all just bullshit lies. Complete and a total freaking lie. I'm surprised Anonymous hasn't, you know, appeared in this shit. Why the fuck's Anonymous? <sighs> you know, here's the thing. Anita Sarkeesian has been doing suspicious actions ever since her Kickstarter you know, she made her Kickstarter. And this is probably the most suspicious thing that she has ever done in her entire YouTube career. I already talked about this in my previous video, so let me just put this, you know, as short as possible. Um, as soon, you know, as soon as uh, she uploaded her video, and it's around the time that Zoe Quinn was being harassed by a bunch of people because she apparently slept with a bunch of men in order to get where she is. And uh, now she pulls off this bullshit that she's being, her, the threat that she received was so bad that she needed to move. A bit comes, to, you know, just a bit of coincidence, don't you think? But setting aside that fact, there is some actual evidence to prove that the account that sent the death threats is most likely made by either Anita Sarkeesian or Jonathan McIntosh. Po possibly Anita Sarkeesian, most likely. So, um, let me show you a few screenshots. This is, you know, this video is not just for me. It's for the fans of Anita Sarkeesian. Because the fans of Anita Sarkeesian need to start questioning you know, question Anita Sarkeesian's actions because everything that she's done up to this point is nothing more but a complete, just lies, just complete, utter lies. Okay, um, I'm gonna sort of do this in the style of, um, you know, I'm just gonna use this as a, um, a way to uh, show the screenshot. This is, you know, an entire, um, picture of all the screenshots that some guy took. I need to, you know, thank the guy who did the research and all that. Um, you know, let's do, you know, let's go in, in deep. Uh, let's look over here first. Some very scary threats have just been made against me and my family in contacting authorities now. This is nothing so far. Uh, and, you know, this is the guy, Kevin Dol... Dol the, the the circle things blocking the last name. Um, oh yeah, Kevin Dobson. Screen cap taken only 12 seconds after the last post, about the same time it takes to sign out and return. And um, you know all of Kevin Dobson's tweets is just all about um, just about feminist frequency. Just nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. You know, it's not some um, guy on the internet, you know, he he doesn't even talk about anyone. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't have anything. It's so strange. But um, I, I digress. 
you know, this is the search that the guy in. This is anonymous. Fucking hell, guys. Get this. I cracked the cake. If my zone, UTC, nigga 3, Buenos Aires, she has, was harassed on August 26th at 2.23, uh, 22, 20, uh, C, pick related. Then, look at this. I look for the tweets at, on August 27th at 21.34. Kevin Dobson tweets were made 20 or less, more or less 20 hours ago. Did it? That is August 27th at 01.34 a.m. How the fuck were the harassing tweets three hours after she received them? In the, um, the quote, received was on quotation marks. The screenshot was taken on a tablet, so she made the tweets on the computer, then refreshed her tablet and took a sc screenshot, the perfect plan. All right, listen up. I found that Kevin Dobson tweets uncensored. Turns out Anita and her parents' names and address are censored. As far as I know, the only way to get all that same and exact info is to Google Anita Sarkeesian and her address, which in turn brings up an older doc save in the past bin made by an anonymous team some time ago. Other otherwise, the info is unattainable for your average dude or a B-tard stalker, at least in the short period in time between Anita tweets and her supposed harassment. So either the crazy fuck that harassed her has good doxing skills, she herself entitled the data, or she googled the data and copied it from there. By the way, San Francisco looks good and she looks right over the shop. Um, let's go over here. You know, this is all of K Dubs tweets right here Nama says right here the tweets were made 21 hours ago and this was exactly 24 hours ago she can't see into the future man the f proof was manufactured she lied Anons lied and let's see oh here it is uh, one way you can support feminist frequency is by becoming a monthly sustainer of a nonprofit. You know, she, she talked. Yeah, apparently she, it's not enough that she has a hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's, you know, uh, outstanding and amazing that she still beg for more. Let's see, Anita officially be begging for money more money, even though she got blah 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 blah. blah. I live in EU CNT. It's now 4 a.m. The Kevin tweet from the link that Anon gave said it's 21 hours ago. Anita tweet is from 7:31 a.m., which is 21 hours ago. Source math. If you do the same, you'll probably get the same results. The image should also tell people to check for themselves, including instructions. And in you know, these are some of the suspicious acts that Anita Sarkeesian has done. You know. It's very odd and very The account that harassed Anita Sarkeesian has disappeared entirely, you know, poof, out of existence. You know, as soon as people start researching this, and it's all so mysterious. Not to mention that the st the, te the steps Anita Sarkeesian took was very, very suspicious. That she went to Polygon first to tweet about how she was being supremely harassed. And, you know, she used this. She used this special tweet that she made in order to get more and more support. So that's why YouTube Nation is like, oh my God, you know, Ania Sarkeesian got harassed again. And you know, now she has to move from her house. That is total fucking bullshit. Especially when she went to Polygon first, not getting the police involved because you know, it's not necessary. And, 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 and it's, it's just amazing on how far Anita Sarkeesian would go for just some attention. Maybe this is nothing. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. 
and maybe this isn't strong enough evidence but if you if you want really strong evidence then I suggest you start watching Thunderfoot's videos okay you know um, look at Thunderfoot's video debunking Aeneas Sarkeesian and, and, and just look at other videos where Aeneas Sarkeesian admits where she says that she is not a gamer there are things that Aeneas Sarkeesian have said and done that are very, very suspicious. And you know what? It wouldn't be that big of a shock if all the things that Aeneas Sarkeesian has said and done was just a ruse to just get popularity, just to become popular. This is a very sad, pathetic attempt to get on Zoe Quinn's side. So that is all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.